welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today we have a special bookmark for you. It's a giraffe bookmark. Some of you, in fact, Tristan, Maya, Kawaii Unicorn, Abigail, Nicole, and Haley have all asked for this super cute, let's get the camera in focus, giraffe bookmark. And finally, we have it just for you. So, without further ado, let's get making. So to make the giraffe bookmark, I will be using two different types of yellow, a bit of brown paper, some pens and some glue stick. Now, as always, I've got these things. If you don't have them, you can always make it in white and color it in, or just see what you've got at home, different pens, different papers. But as I've got them, I might as well use them. So the first thing, as always, is we're gonna create our corner bookmark. So we fold this over to create a triangle because a corner bookmark you need a square and this is the best way to get your square. Triangle. Then you take your pointy corner, bring it up. Take your other pointy corner and also bring it up. Turn it round. Sorry, open it up. Flip one flap down bring it over, tuck it in, bring it over, tuck it in. There we go. Turn it round and you have your basic bookmark. So once you have your basic bookmark in yellow, it's time to decorate and you can chop a little bit as well, but let's decorate it first and then you can decide if you need to do some cutting or not. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a mouthpiece. So I'm just gonna cut an oval. I think that's quite nice, or maybe a little bit narrower because the giraffe isn't a great big chubby monkey. It's got a nice long narrow face. I'm going to get my pen and draw a mouth and some nostrils. I also want, and I can't find my trusty little um, hole punch, I'm gonna cut it. I want some little pink cheeks, cause you know me, I love pink cheeks. So even though I don't have my hole punch, I'm just gonna cut out some circles. I always cut two at the time so that they get turn out the same size. They're quite a little bit bigger than I normally make them, but that's okay. Put on my pink little cheeks. I'll cut that on my finger. <laughs> then I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on the top flap, that half. Don't get it underneath, otherwise it's going to get glued shut. Now I am going to trim a little bit actually, because I do want that rounded top of the head. I think that looks a bit nicer. It's not strictly necessary, but I do think that looks nice. I'm going to give my um, giraffe nice big eyes. This time they're going to be, there's quite a thick pen actually. And I'm going to put another one here. If I had my thinner pen, these would look a bit littler. That's okay. Uh, not perfectly aligned, but hey, this is why it's handmade, isn't it? Now I would like to cut out, get some of my brown. I'm gonna cut out those little, well, horns. I think they're horns, aren't they? So I'm gonna fold this over. Now, if you want to make it easy, you just cut out uh, two little rectangles, or if you want a bit more shaped, you can add a little sort of knobbly bit at the top. There we go. Now I'm going to cut two ears out. So I think a giraffe's ear is kind of a little bit flat at the top with a 
rounded bit here at the bottom, maybe a little bit narrower again. And then I've got two. Oh, aren't they cute? I'm quite pleased with that. And then my giraffe will just need some spots because a giraffe is a spotty. Now you can draw those on or cut some out and stick them on. I'm going to cut some out. And you know what? I think, I hadn't quite decided this yet, but I think I'm going to shape this a little bit to kind of give her that more rounded look. And then I'm also going to give her a neck because giraffes have got long, thin necks. Just a little extra, you don't have to if you don't want to. And if you want, you can obviously round that off. But again, just a little detail. Now I'm going to take my brown paper and cut out lots of little squares or shapes to stick on her. sweet super cute now remember to like comment subscribe add this to your playlist and of course we'd love to see you here again soon bye